In this video, you'll learn how to make small talk with Americans. Learn some typical subjects to talk about and also some subjects to avoid. I'll give you three easy small talk openers that can be used with just about anyone and some specific sample sentences you can use right away to get chatting with everyone. Do you live in an English speaking country? Do you work with Americans or other native English speakers? Do you want to improve your spoken English? If any of these are true for you, it's a good idea to learn to make conversation with English speaking people you encounter. Many Americans are friendly and like to chat with those around them. So a good way to practice your English, make some new friends, network at business and social events, and get to know your colleagues and neighbors better is to learn to make small talk. This may sound a little scary, but it's a great way to improve your English and meet new people. And the more people you meet, the more opportunities you'll find. You never know what new door will open for you from a short conversation. You may find your dream job or your new best friend or your future spouse. Before getting into the details, please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon to get notifications when new videos are posted each week. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. So what is small talk? Well, it's generally a short conversation about topics of general interest to pass the time or get to know the people around you. Who can you talk to? Here are some ideas of people you can make small talk with. If you're riding on the bus, you might talk to the person sitting next to you. If you're waiting in line to use the restroom, talk to the others in line. If you're attending a business conference, chat with other people at the conference. If you go for a walk in your neighborhood and you see your next door neighbors outside, it could be the ideal chance to get to know them better. Basically, Anytime you're waiting for something and there are other people around you, that's a good time to start a conversation. Do you take the opportunity to chat with English speakers around you? What questions do they typically ask you? Let me know in the comments section so I can feature these expressions in upcoming videos. So what can you talk about with strangers? I'm going to give you three easy small talk openers that can be used with just about anyone. The most common topic in America for small talk is the weather, especially if there's been a change recently or if the weather is particularly good or bad. Here's a phrase that you're likely to hear. It's a beautiful day today, isn't it? Or you might hear, Boy, it's really been rainy this week. Another easy small talk opener is giving a compliment. You might comment on someone's appearance, such as their earrings, or their jacket, their watch, or their dress. You might say, what pretty earrings? Or, that's a nice jacket. Where did you get it? Or, that color looks great on you. A third way to start a conversation is to talk about something in the immediate environment, meaning something that you currently see or are experiencing. If, for example, you're walking and you see your neighbor is in his yard, you might tell him how beautiful his garden is. You could say, I love your roses. You really have a green thumb. To have a green thumb is an expression meaning that someone is a good gardener. Also, while out walking, you'll probably run across many dogs and their owners. You might say, your dog is so cute. Is he friendly? Can I pet him? You may follow that with, 
What's his name? Note that we use the pronouns he and she with our pets. Don't use it. So if the dog is female, the owner will probably correct you and say she. Then you can say, what's her name? Here are a few tips on making small talk. First, make eye contact with someone and smile. This will make you seem open and friendly. If you don't want to make the first move, the other person may start a conversation with you if you look at them and smile. And if you're new at chatting with strangers, pay attention to the things Americans say to you and imitate them when you start conversations with other people. Now, if you're living or visiting the United States, people are likely to notice that you're not a local. They'll probably ask you where you're from right away. And then they'll ask you what brought you to this area. They could also ask you how you like it here, or they may ask about your country. And then this might also start a conversation about your work, if that's what brought you to this area. North Americans may be very friendly, but there are some subjects that you should not discuss with strangers and people you don't know well. These taboo subjects include personal details like age, whether someone is married, single, has a boyfriend or girlfriend. Also, do not ask about salary or how much they paid for something. Do not ask about religion and avoid discussing politics. Now, I hope I've inspired you to go out and talk to people. Stay tuned for the next video where you'll learn and practice several expressions you can use to talk about the weather. We'll take a close look at some questions you can ask and also how to respond to common things you'll hear. I'll also teach you the rhythm and melody for each of the phrases so you'll be able to improve your pronunciation as well as practice new things to talk to other people about. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.